couple of questions, and you mentioned the waiver, and and I. Can you explain that, the, uh, the stormwater waiver number at 26, you said it was for the road? Well, um, for projects that were approved, meaning stormwater management and sediment control, if those two um, issues had been approved by the appropriate agencies prior to, I believe it was um, May of 2010, maybe it was 12, I'm sorry. Um, then you could apply for a waiver, meaning you did not have to meet the ESD to the MAP, the new stormwater management regulations. This project met that requirement and met that time frame. Many projects have. You probably have or will hear that quite a bit. Um, but like I say, as part of the negotiation with the current stormwater management engineer, we agreed to do ESD on each of the individual lots. So, You might want to explain what that is, ESD. Well, it's the current, it's what it the means, current what it stormwater means. management ESD. regulations. We're doing, it's a much more in-depth study for stormwater uh, to control runoff for uh, infiltration and bioretention. And um, I mean, it meets the current regu state regulations. Got it. Okay. Okay. I have a couple of other questions. I don't know if you can answer them. I mean, I maybe have to go to Ms. Daly. There's a talk in this about uh, tier stream, stream order, and I'm really, I, I understand the tiers as far as septic goes, what they mean, but the orders for streams I'm not clear on, um, because I believe there is a, 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 a tier two stream on this property, if I'm not correct, if I'm not incorrect. So I was just wondering what that, if, if I can, and I don't know, I don't want to make you guys play musical chairs. Oh, but go ahead. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Daly with the Department of Planning and Growth Management. I'm a planner. Um, you've got three different items that you're dealing with in that statement. Uh, you have stream orders, which basically define what type of stream they are and how they're regulated, and then you have the septic tiers, one, yeah. two, three, and four. And then what you're, what you're talking about specifically with Hunter Springs is that there was a designated tier two water in the Hunter Springs subdivision area which I mentioned in the finding for the habitat protection, how they've expanded the resource protection zone to encompass a little bit more for that tier two buffer. And basically tier two is a designation by state or federal agencies that it's more of a pristine waterway. And there's that extra buffer or extra protection. And as part of their habitat protection, this applicant has chosen to expand the resource protection zone, which is allowed under our ordinance and, and basically encouraged and required um, as a habitat protection measure, they've, they've expanded to the tier two buffer, which is normally something regulated at an MDE level, Maryland Department of the Environment level. And tier two is more pristine than tier three? I'm just not sure which way we're going. I don't know that there's necessarily a tier three designation, oh, okay. that, but the tier two waterway is, a, is, a, is something that's determined to be of a pristine or high water quality and they, they have a goal of protecting those areas. Did you want to add anything, Mr. Watson? Okay. Well, it's not, I mean, that's a pretty good explanation. Okay, yeah, because there's something, and I, I didn't mark where, it says that the, an order of three stream has a 100 foot buffer, those, and an order of are, two has a 50 foot buffer. Okay. Those orders are about how the stream is, is made or, or, or what, what comes together to create the stream. And that, that's how we determine at Charles County what size buffer we apply to it. Uh, an order one stream when, and an order two stream are the smaller streams. Two order ones come together to make an order two. Then two order twos come together and make an order three. And there's a hierarchy of, of streams as they come together and what they create. And your threes and fours are your larger stream beds. Um, your Mattawoman Creek, Potomac River. We, the largest stream order we have is a four. So the larger, larger streams in Charles County are threes and fours, and they have the minimum 100 foot buffer from the edge of channel. Okay. So some streams have that, and that's how we determine our buffer. So that's a different classification than what MDE would be regulating. Okay. It's kind of a universal way of classifying a stream body. Okay, I think I have it. And I can provide more information. Okay, that would be great. So I'm still a little conf confused, but that's me. 
Um, I have another question, and again, it may be good to Mr. Lesner. Uh, in the packets, and actually on sheet two, uh, there's a letter f dated 2005 from the Department of Natural Resources that says, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it says the Department's Wildlife Heritage Services has no records for federal or state rare, threatened, or endangered plants or animals within the general area of the subject property. It continues to say, this statement should not be interpreted as meaning that no rare, threatened, or endangered species are present. If appropriate habitat is available, certain species would be present without documentation because adequate surveys have not been conducted. So my question is, have adequate sur uh, surveys been conducted in the last 20, 10 years since this letter was written? That letter is a blanket format from the Department of Natural Resources to state that they currently don't have documented records of species, but it does not imply a requirement to a project to conduct assessments. There is an inherent requirement that if the applicant were to begin construction and encounter a certain species, that they would have to basically stop work and coordinate with those, the Department of Natural Resources to protect the habitat. But that letter does not imply uh, any further requirement on behalf of the Department of Natural Resources. So when we require an environmental review under forest conservation law, the letter from the Department of Natural Resources that says we have no records is basically saying at this time we have no record and we have no requirement. If, and I know it's too late for this project because the road's already cut and the FIDS habitat's gone. But if you, if you look at, I mean, the DNR's website, the Merlin Online, mm -hmm. which has all the different layers, if you look at that, you'll see that this is a green infrastructure hub on the green infrastructure. It's a DNR folk, a targeted ecological area. Uh, it's uh, a FIDS habitat and it's within a thousand feet, if I'm doing a little measuring thing right, within a sensitive species project review area. So I guess my question is, is there any way that the, that, uh, the county can trigger a request to do, to do a survey? I mean, if you don't look for it, you're not gonna find it. And is that something we should consider? Under the current codes that we have, I'm not aware of any ability that we have to compel a survey Okay. with that type of comment from the Department of Natural Resources. Is that something we could do? Well, what about the forest conservation? Do they do, they do inventory work with the forest conservation plans or is it just for the trees? Well, the forest conservation plan was the trigger to require the Department of Natural Resources re review. That's a part of their components of, of requirement to prepare the plan, the environmental review. Um, and so that is, is incorporated into how we, how we, meaning the county and both the applicant, are looking at the forest areas on site and determining, determining where the preservation should occur. Beyond that, there's no additional assessment requirement for habitat to, to, to be compelled or to, to be required of the applicant. Okay. We look at the priority areas, we look at the stream areas, but if the Department of Natural Resources sends a letter of that nature. That says well, we didn't look and if you, nobody looks, we're not gonna find it. We have no way of compelling further <laughs> searching at this time. Okay. That's the questions I have. Ms. Jo. 